Hello everyone, Luther Smith here. It is the 27th of February. It is a Thursday, so this is going to be my last unboxing this month. Um, I don't know if I do any more. Depends if I get anything interesting. This is the last item that I have for Christmas that needs to be unboxed. I haven't looked into it yet. This is National Geographic, not sponsored. A zoom microscope uh, and this one's unique because you can actually connect your phone to it and use your phone as like a screen to see it it even has a little um, dock for it as well so let me go zoom out right here no still like the sheet on my bed I had to position my camera so it wasn't pointing at the floor um, yeah here it is with the um, smartphone on it Smartphone not included by the way, <laughs> only the M connectors included. Um, this is the back of it, and this is the side. Where, where does it say all the M stuff that comes with it? Um, it can go from 40 times magnification to 640. Uh, I need to find out. Here is okay, here is the specs. You can you pause it to read it. And here is the um, what's included. So you got a smartphone adapter, three prepared slides, slides, eight blank slides, eight and eight adhesive labels, three specimen vials, three empty vials, granulated cylinder, cylinder, pate, tweezers, magnifying glass. Micro cuts, actually, and two AA batteries. So it does actually come with um, batteries. Like I said before, I am very happy that they actually put batteries in certain items, but unfortunately, not all of them. So, having to position myself behind the actual camera because it does get a little bit annoying when you're trying to do an unboxing and Especially if you're doing like a phone unboxing, you've got to try and fiddle around with it when you're actually behind the camera. So, let us open it up. First of all, we have some literature, information and instructions there. And if we take this off here. Oh wait, it's only a small thing. Okay, let me just do it this way, there we go. Okay, so if we pull, okay, so it's not even taped down or anything, it's just here. Okay, this is the actual microscope here, so let me just put that to the side. Here we have some bits here. Um, oh, there, there is, there is a lot included with this. Okay, so um, Here's some of the vials, specimen stuff, tweezers and everything like that. Uh, that's a magnifying glass and some adhesive labels and stuff like that. Um, yeah, with microscopes they normally include samples and things. So that's pretty cool. Anything on the back of it? Nope. So let us put it on the back, on the bottom there. Um, this is just the stuff to stop the things from drying out. Here we have um, the slides, we'll have a look at them in a minute. We also have, this looks to be the smartphone adapter. And we have a, a package full of stuff. Here's the actual batteries as well, as well as that. And the um, and this looks to be like another mount thing as well. So there is a lot to um, get through. So let's actually open up this and have a look at our little microscope. Okay. So here is our microscope here I think you can actually oh yeah that lowers here like that and this one is to different 
magnifications right there and it's really nice rubber feel quite like that this is obviously the um, eyepiece and I think you can actually oh no I think this actually even moves but this might be the focus mechanism here um, the, oh yeah, I thought I had to get a screwdriver to undo it uh, give me a minute Okay, I got the mount on. Please be aware it's very fiddly to get the, the actual phone in the right position. Especially if you got one of those fancy cameras with the with the free camera setup on the end of your phone. Now this is a Sam, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It's only got a one camera on it, on the back of it anyway. And it is in like the middle of the top of the phone here. I managed to get it in the position, I'm not going to touch it because if I do it is bound to mess it around. So uh, let me just zoom it in a little bit more. Uh, this is an onion skin and I think this is on 10 times magnification. Uh, if I get out a slide, I'm probably too closely zoomed in too close, but I'm actually going to turn the magnification up a little bit. So it shows you, so it shows you more. Now I don't, I can't remember what magnification that is, but that is like super close. So I'm going to pull back the range. you can see it it's pulling it back too much you can see a little bit there let me just adjust the slide here kind of lost it there we are yeah, um, you got to, you got to learn how to focus it, but it should be easy enough. However, this is the one thing that I like about um, microscopes if you, that you can mount a phone onto or like a camera onto. You can make really nice microscopic videos and stuff. Even though, yeah, that's not that's not the best um, quality because I didn't focus it right and just like trying to. Uh, show for the actual review, but yeah, it is pretty good, pretty pretty good for for what it is. Um, the actual microscope is really good, hard hard quality, good good quality, and hard wearing, especially like cause it's got like a, a rubberized feel to it as well, instead of the cheap plastic um, microscopes that that you get on the um on the cheap. So there's good workmanship in in this one. I'm actually going to try again for another um, one. I think that is 10 times again. So let me just zoom out and back in. And I'm going to just do that. We'll get something here and I'll adjust it. So hopefully, it'll get something. Yeah, I know I should have tried many, many of the other slides, but it's only four, and I just wanted to like sample one of them. Uh, but to be fair, that is pretty good for what it is. Uh, now, I'm going to attempt to find this, so I can put the link in the description to buy this, but I have absolutely no idea. Um, where it come from so I can't really do that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop the video here and just give a quick uh, recap uh, this was the National Geographic zoom microscope it can zoom up to two uh, up to 640 times uh, my, my magnification 
you can obviously you can connect your phone to it using the mount and now now that's done i can actually like turn it here and that's what it looks like with the um with the mount on it so it's pretty good oh yeah it's quick here you can turn the um turn the little led off and also um here they give you a spare led so you can actually replace the bulb if you need to and i'm pretty sure you can find spare spare bulbs of them online you just need to check a few specifications um so yeah that's been the review on the um microscope from national geographic i hope you enjoyed this video i'll get this up as soon as possible just need to edit a few bits in it and i'll see you guys next time